Hello everybody, this is Dennis and in this video I'm going to show you how to apply KNN, K nearest neighbors with Rapid Miner. We already saw the theory behind this, but in short KNN is a classification algorithm and what we do is to provide a, a parameter K, which is the number of neighbors, the closest neighbors to the new da new coming data. And what the algorithm does is to check the closest, the most similar data items that are to the um, to the new coming data, unlabeled data, and checks the classes of these neighbors. And the, if the majority of the neighbors are belonging to a certain class, then it just classifies our new coming data with that particular class. So what it basically does is to check the neighbors and the majority class is assigned to the new coming data's class. Let's go ahead and see how we do that in Rapid Miner. First of all, I'm going to require a data set. And for that, I will just use a read CSV block in order to read a CSV file from my local system. For this example, I will use, which one? Let's go ahead and use Iris. And I'm going to run this to see the data. See, because we are just loading it from CSV, it doesn't, I mean, none of the attributes have some sort of a role associated with that. We have the target, which is species here, but it doesn't have the role as label. So I, sh I should do a, an additional step, which is the uh, well, set roles actually, set role. And I'm going to select my class attribute and assign a label role for that. Now I can just go ahead and use this as the labeled data to train my algorithms. And my algorithm in this example is KNN, right? So in KNN, you basically just provide your, um, well, the parameter K, that is going to be the nearest number of, uh, well, this is the neighbor of, um, the number of nearest neighbors to my new coming data. But we would also like to measure the performance of this, right? And the, one of the proper ways to do that is to use a cross validation. So I will just go ahead and use cross validation here and then cut this, cut the block. Then I'm going to double click now we are inside the cross validation block and I'm going to paste my model here. So the training data is going to come from this and the trained model is going to be the uh, input to the testing phase of the cross validation. In the testing phase, I'll just basically use the apply model block here. And remember the test is going to be the unlabeled data. So now we see everything red uh, because we didn't connect anything to, to the cross validation. So I'm going to go to the um, uh, well top level process here and then I will just connect this. Then go ahead and check cross validation. See all these red ones are disappeared except for this one. And I would like to have a performance classification. So classification performance uh, block as well. Yep. So that block is going to measure the performance and I need to connect the performance to performance and the, the outcome example set to the test set. So yeah, so let's, let's go to the uh, top level process and make the connections here. This is my test set and this is the performance. I'll go ahead and run. Okay, so now we are seeing the performance, um, the outcome of the performance block. We have the confusion matrix again, and it says the accuracy is 99% um, well, more than 99%, which is quite good. And we also have this the margin, all right? Because we are do doing 10 co fold cross validation. I'll go ahead and show you in the design. If you click on cross validation, you are able to set the number of folds. So that was it, that was KNN.